It's Chase Burns, the junior right-hander from Gallatin, Tennessee. As Kyle Hajup will be the first batter. They end up taking that series. Swing and a miss for strike three, and Chase Burns, not many pitches thrown, just four. As Chase Burns will rock back and forth and now fire. And they'll check on that one, and he did go. So Chase Burns, what an introduction for him. As Valencius looks on, they cut there, and Chase Burns, wow, that is just undescribable there with how Chase Burns got there and got three strikeouts. Big swing and a miss, and what a strikeout by tabling. Wake Forest has seen some pop from him. And he was in the weight room a lot in the offseason. But he'll strike out here in the bottom of the first. That's a big cut. So a little pitcher's duel we have here between Tabling and Chase Burns. Hey, everyone. Wheels here. And I'm excited to kick off my sixth year of college baseball coverage. Since there's always new viewers at the beginning of the season, I do want to give a quick reminder to subscribe, as over 50% of viewers watching haven't yet done so. We're so close to reaching half a million subs. Thanks, everyone, and let's have another amazing season of college baseball. Last year, slashed 276, and he's slashing at that one, misses as Chase Burns just hit a 100 again. 16 pitches. Wofford, who had an outstanding year for the Terriers, will be behind the plate as this is lifted high in the air, but will stay in the infield and right in the grass as Merrick Houston comes, gets under it, and makes the catch. Did he go? And yes, he did. And there goes that man right there, Chase Burns. Here in Wake Forest, Wingate not too far from here. And he chased it that one. For strike three, but to make it officially, I have to throw. Oh, they're going to say he's safe. Seaver King is known for his speed. Battling again with four strikeouts. There goes Seaver King, and he will be safe. It wasn't a bad throw from Janik. He waved at that one and missed it, and that's going to be another strikeout put on the account of Tabling. History they made back in 2009. As a ball gets underneath the wickets of Jaddick, and that moves Seaver King over to third. Runners at the corners. Swing and a miss from Katz, and he's going to be retired. Another strikeout for Tabling. Tabling's teammate in high school was Connor Milton, who also plays for the Illini. Of course, the question mark was pitching, but... A big swing and a miss, which now makes seven strikeouts for Tabling. One ball and two strikes. Chase Burns kicks and delivers, and this is going to be hit on the ground, picked up by Tellier, and he's going to get it just in time to retire Mormon. And there's another K for number 2-9, Chase Burns. And there's another Strikeout for Chase Burns as that makes it seven. As Kurtz watches strike one go by, and he's going to call time to talk to Coach Bill Salento. With two outs, one strike, he will pull this on the ground into right field for a base hit. And Kurtz rounding first, thought about going to second, but he will come back and stay at first. So a single. Coach Bill Salento, and he said something, but it worked as Seaver King sends this high in the air, and at the right in front of the track, the catch is made by Brad, and that will retire the Demon Deacons. And Asia sends this one high in the air, but it's going to be in the infield, and Houston gets under it and makes the catch. Gets a piece of it, it's a grounder over to shortstop and easy does it for Merrick Houston. 0-2 pitch, Burns throws him and Burns with another backwards K. He's got now eight strikeouts in his bag. He is definitely in his bag this afternoon. His first start as a Demon Deacon. Another swing and a miss and now. 
The second walk awarded to Tate Ballestero on his first start. And tabling has been spectacular up to this point, although with a walk in now, he hit Katz. 87 starts. And he gets a walk. So he draws the second walk as it second time he's come to the plate. Who is 0 for 1. In this bottom of the frame for Austin Hawk. Two balls, two strikes. Three balls, two strikes to Hawk. Hawk sends this one to the right. Going back at the wall. And it's a grand slam. Austin Hawk over the right field wall. Breaks this game open. And the Deacons lead 4-0. Austin Hawk, welcome back home to Winston-Salem. And he bounces back with a strikeout. That's what you want to see, especially from a senior. And Merrick Houston lifts this one, but it's going to drift over into right center field and caught by the right fielder, Mormon. The heat that Chase Burns has supplied this afternoon, and we need it. It's a chilly one here in Winston-Salem as this has popped up into very shallow center field and caught by Merrick Houston for the out. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, Janik was on his way to first. And he was rung up. The payoff pitch. Oh, they thought they framed it. This time, ball four. And Drake Westcott will mosey on over to first. Take a look at this picture. Rather than some of the negative stuff in social media, there's a dribbler that just squibs by Kurtz into right field. What an interesting spin. It gets into right field. And the Illini have now runners at the corners. One of many strikeouts for Chase Burns. This is a tapper that's going to be played easily by Merrick Houston. He'll tap his foot on second base, and that will retire the side. And will face now Kurtz. And Kurtz drives this one deep and gone. The first home run for Nick Kurtz. Over the right field wall and gone. A solo shot. And Nikki Dukes has returned for 2024. That makes it five and nothing, Demon Deacons. Pulls this one into left field, and there's a base hit for Tate Bellistero, who gets his first hit of the afternoon. Two balls and two strikes, two out, one on. And a swing and a miss, strike three, swinging on Katz will end the side. Back on the bump again. And a comebacker that will get into center field for a base hit. And Brad will stop at first here at the top of the sixth. Collected in his opener. And spraying it, it will get down to the right field for a base hit. And Illinois now has two on just like that. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out, and two on. Here's the pitch from Burns. And a big swing and a cut by Chialoy. The 0-1, it's another comebacker. Scooped up by Hawk over to Houston. Houston over to Kurtz. A double play. And Hawk flashing the leather just like he flashed the lumber. And the Deacons get out of this jam, and they are amped. Rhett Louder. Now they can't touch Reed there, swinging a miss for strike three. A baseball bat. Doesn't need the bat for this particular Merrick Houston. Staring back at Reed, sends this one high in the air in the right field, but that's going to get to the track and caught. Taking on Janik now, and Janik lines this one into left center, gets down for a base hit. The pitch and gets past Gill. Gill can't find it, and the runner will advance over to second and make it official. 
Almost out, did get away from Gill. Gill fires down to third base. And the catch is made, and the out is applied. Apply the tag as Westcott sees the next pitch, swings right by it. Ball four. Five nothing are scored. There goes Seaver King. A big swing and a miss. Doesn't matter. Strike three. Nelson actually was a top outfielder prospect. But his first time in college baseball, and the first batter he faces. And the count at now. Strike three to Brad, who's one for two today. Here's the pitch from Nelson. Still trying to get that inside corner, missed it, and it's ball four. Looking for his third strikeout. There it is, a swing and a miss. And Cam Nelson, another sensational freshman that came in on the top 25 recruiting class. Facing Cameron Gill here with two strikes on him. And there's another strikeout, a swing and a miss. Jammed him as he gets under this one. And the first baseman gets right under it. Westcott to make the catch. As Falco, a transfer from Maryland, will be the new pitcher in the first pitch. Chi Aloy was waiting for, and he attacks it, and he gets it down for a base hit. David Falco followed him. Big swing and a miss, and Falco gets his first strikeout. As he had that roll for Maryland and this is sent high in the air into left center, it drops and picking up, quickly getting it to Merrick Houston, the cutoff man. Now Falco will face Janik, the catcher. This one will skyrocket off the turf and up in the air, and Gill can't get it this afternoon. And puts one on the ground that finds some green in to center field for an RBI single. And now the Deacons lead cut to three. And it gets through underneath Gill. That will push the runner over to second. And a walk issued to Westcott. Deektown sure did, and the nation felt him as that one is sent high in the air. A Mormon is drifting over to the left. Catch is made by Seaver, tagging up, and the runner will move over to third. Janik, the tying run at the plate. Here's the pitch from Falco. A wave and a miss. And that's how it finishes up here in game two for Wake Forest. As they now move to 2-0. Oh.